Hi there, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to download, how to print out your own uh, Creeper from Minecraft. It's printed out in three individual parts. Uh, there's a pin, or not a pin, but a clip that goes in between the head and the body that allows the head to be rotated. And that's the gist of it. I printed it out in black ABS filament, in case you were curious. I did no post-processing on this model itself. Just put it together. So, so let's get started. Uh, we're going to visit Thingiverse. This is the website I downloaded the 3D model from. I'm just going to do a search for Minecraft, and I should be able to find the model that I used. Here it is. The author of this specific one is, I'm sure he's on the page. I don't, I'm not too familiar with this website. All you have to do here is download all the files. And as you can see down here, it downloads into a RAR file or a zip file. Just open that up, extract it to a folder on your desktop, and then open it up. I'm going to be using the program slicer for this. So I've gone ahead and opened up the slicer program. Just going to add the model to it. Let me try locate it first. Okay, so as you can see here, we have three separate 3D objects, and we're just going to be adding all of them to the Slicer program. Let me bring this up a tad bit so you know uh, what program specifically I'm talking about. Uh, so I'll add them in one at a time, and as you can see, there is no need to uh, adjust these in any way. So I'm just going to move this clip off to this off to the left side of this base plate here and add the rest of the models in. So creeper body, and lastly the creeper head. As you can see we can't have them intersecting like that so I'm just gonna move it uh, and I'm moving the camera around just by selecting any part of the stage that's not the objects and rotating it just so you know. So as I said I'm just gonna leave it as it is. I, there's no need for me to scale it. I think this size is perfectly fine to have just as a, an ornament, if you will. The entire purpose of using the Slicer program is just to export the G-code. I'm going to export it to the folder that I saved this entire Creeper thing in. I'll just call it Minecraft, I guess. And uh, if you have a Flash Forge Creator Pro 3D printer, you're going to need to uh, convert the G-code into .x3g code. And to do that, one of the only programs that actually do that is the program Replicator G. So I'm going to boot up that program. Here it is. Let me just bring it into view. Okay, and here's my G-code, Minecraft G-code. So you just load up the G-code into the Replicator G program. You put in your SD card into your SD card reader or your adapter for your computer if your, your computer isn't, isn't built uh, with one installed. You can all, Then you will just export this to your SD card, as I said. So upon exporting it, everything should go well, depending on what filament you use. So if you want the exact details as to how I printed this, I printed this specific model on a, I used blue painter's tape for uh, covering my heat bed, and I put the heat bed up to 120 degrees Celsius for the first layer, then it leveled off to 110 degrees Celsius. For the extruder, I left it at default settings around, I think it's 230 degrees Celsius, 240. Uh, I also applied glue, or uh, just common household glue, um, to the surface of it just to improve adhesion, although I don't think it was necessary. The parts, uh, the blue painter's tape in itself at that temperature is probably fine enough. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comment section. I know there's uh, not a lot of information for the FlashForge Creator Pro printer, especially when you're trying to set it up in Slicer. So that may be the future topic of another video.